Hello everyone and welcome to Celebrating Marvel Studios. I am your host, Chad Miller. My life has been very, very chaotic over the last month, uh, so I haven't been able to actually sit here and do uh, reviews of every episode of What If as I would like to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run down some basics as far as what I feel about the episodes um, 2 through 5, and then I'm going to watch uh, episode 6 and give you a rundown there. So let's get cracking because I don't want this to last 20 minutes. So episode 2 dealt with uh, what if T'Challa became Star-Lord instead of Peter Quill. And the best part of it was Chadwick Boseman, hands down. Um, and that's really all I can say about it. Uh, I, I didn't find the story very compelling. I didn't find it very fascinating. Uh, but it, it's just hearing Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa was just astounding. And I'm glad we got that. And, um... It, it was an interesting take on the tale. Um, it was nice to hear some of the original actors uh, reprise their roles. Um, but other than that, um, I, I thought it felt flat. Um, and basically, um, yeah, I, I wasn't too impressed. Episode 3 basically is the story about what happened if all the Avengers initiative uh, designees got killed before the Avengers were created. And I found it very fascinating. Um, it, it was a great murder mystery sort of uh, tale. And, uh, it was really nice to have a throwback to the movie The Incredible Hulk, except with Mark Ruffalo in role, um, although very brief, um, so it was nice that it kind of tied in that film, even though initially it was a different actor, and... Uh, yeah, when the end came along, I, I, I just, I was like, oh, oh. So, uh, we learned that Hope Van Dyne, uh, was an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. that was killed in action, and, um, uh, Hank Pym, her father, had become, uh, instead of Ant-Man, uh, the original Ant-Man, he became Yellow Jacket instead, and, um, if we knew how much hope was valued in S.H.I.E.L.D., I think it would have made a lot more sense, and there would have been a lot more sympathy and understanding by the reveal at the end. Uh, but it, it just wasn't the case, and the only thing that, uh, other thing that threw me off about that episode was that Black Widow was not voiced by Scarlett Johansson. Um, but some of the fight sequences were just amazing. Um, I, I loved the returning talent. Uh, yeah, so, um... Yeah, so not 
not a stellar episode, so I, I, I'm kind of just like, yeah, you know, there are some really great hits, and there are some really big misses so far in this series. Episode 4, where Doctor Strange loses his heart instead of his hands, uh, I think has been the best episode thus far. Um, there are problems with the storyline because you don't, in the original Doctor Strange movie, you don't get how much of an effect that Christine has on Stephen Strange. So for it to be played on here uh, to a degree that uh, basically drives him maniacal to the point of learning the mystic arts instead of being maniacal about learning the mystical arts to heal his hands. Um, it was a little bit of a tough concept to get. However, they managed to make it work. Um, and once again, the animation was phenomenal. I loved uh, having a good likeness with Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, and I. I didn't see resemblance with Rachel McAdams, so her voice didn't match up with her so well, so that kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, and it was good to see Wong, it was good to see the Ancient One. Um, and to see a dark road that Doctor Strange could go on and I guess could be a possibility in future films. Um, so yeah, yeah, that uh, that was a good episode. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I, uh, if I had any other complaints, I, I honestly can't think of any other complaints I would have about that episode. I think it's the best one of the series thus far. Episode 5, Zombies. Um, zombies aren't a big thing in my book. I, I'm not a typical horror movie fan. Uh, I haven't read the Marvel Zombies comics. It, it's just zombies aren't a thing for me. I, I haven't watched The Walking Dead. Um, it, it's just not my wheelhouse. Um, I do feel that the episode delivered pretty well for the most part. And they took some liberties that were, um, <laughs> they were humorous for the most part. Um, I didn't like the fact that, uh, Mark Ruffalo didn't look like Mark Ruffalo, uh, in the series. It was hard for me to tell him apart from, what is his name, Zach? From the Ant-Man movies who reprised his role um that confused me um it yeah and then um yeah it, it didn't jive with me at all whatsoever uh, other than that, um, the voice actor who did, uh, Spider-Man did a pretty well Tom Holland. Um, it's sad that they couldn't get Tom Holland to do it, but, eh, he, he was pretty spectacular, um, uh, filling in. Um... Once again, uh, there was an aspect of Hank Pym being a part of, uh, the villainous aspect of why, well, Hank and Janet, um, as far as how everything went down. 
Uh, and there was a really good focus on hope, which made you feel like she's a worthy character in this episode. Um, in the two movies that she's featured in, she's basically just a sadistic bitch. Um, so to see her be a little bit more heroic, even though she's been featured in other Avengers movies, you don't get characterization. So to give a little bit of characterization to her in this episode was really nice. And I hope that that can continue in whatever Marvel decides they want to go forward with um, in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Paul Rudd was great. Um, I, I love the returning talent that comes to this, that they're dedicated to these characters to even do animation. Um, Emily Van Camp as Sharon was a bit too dry. Um, and, oh, and Chadwick Boseman showed up again as T'Challa, which was great. I thought um, his episode um, as Star-Lord was going to be his final performance. Um, it turns out that it wasn't, so this could have been. I, I, I don't know how much is coming up with him in it. Um, and it was scary at times. Um, that is something that uh, I thought was kind of cool. Um, as I said, I'm not much of a horror fan and I don't really care for zombies, uh, but there were some elements that were about rather dark and, and like gruesome and I was like, oh, they're, they're going there. Um, <laughs> so that was a bit surprising and um, overall really not that bad. <laughs>